God willing, as we shall return. 48 years after humans stepped foot on the moon for the last time, a new generation of astronauts is ready for the next mission. It was kind of a uh, crazy dream. I, I honestly never thought I would get it. This is Frank Rubio. At 44, he's one of NASA's recent graduates that could soon travel to space. Well, come on in. This is uh... And he gave us a tour of our restricted area at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. This is called uh, Building 9, and this is where we do our indoor astronaut training. So essentially what we have here is a mock-up of the International Space Station. So this is in real size, basically? It is, yep. Can I touch it? Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Rubio was born in Los Angeles, but was raised thousands of miles away from where he's training today, in the middle of a tumultuous social crisis. Growing up in El Salvador, did it ever occur to you that you would be an astronaut? No, no, not at all. Was that I mean, even a possibility? At the time, actually, there, there was a civil war going on. Right. Um, and yet, uh, you know, I, I only have pleasant memories of El Salvador playing mm -hmm. outside. I was usually the, the little guy. So when we played soccer, they would put me a goalie. Just take, take some very hard shots, but I think that made me a tougher person. The conflict in El Salvador forced him to move back to L.A. when he was six years old. And when he came down to go to college, he had a very specific reason to enroll at West Point. It was based off of need, to be honest. I, I needed, you know, a, a full scholarship uh, to make life easier on my parents. And that's, that's really what changed my life. He went on to become a doctor after serving as a helicopter pilot for more than 600 hours in combat during deployments in Bosnia, Iraq, and Afghanistan. How do you think that experience prepared you to be an astronaut? You know, I, I think more than anything, what it does is uh, it teaches you to deal with the unknown, seeing what's going on around you and knowing that you're at risk. Uh, yet still having to function and still having to do your job despite those things going on around you. Right. Uh, I think that's one of the key uh, attributes that helped me uh, both be a good person, a good doctor, and uh, hopefully a good astronaut. These days, Rubio combines his duties as an astronaut with his family, raising four children with his wife, Deborah. Why do your kids say that daddy is an astronaut? Uh, you know, I don't let them say that too much. <laughs> <laughs> How come? Uh, well, I, I try to keep it private. But you realize that if you become the first man to go to Mars, that anonymity will disappear. Yeah, I mean, I, I realize I'll, I'll lose a little bit of privacy. Part of this job is to hopefully help inspire future generations. This is where the astronauts that are in the space station sleep for the most part. Uh, this is what a crew quarter looks like. Oh, hold uh, on. Is this like a bedroom? Yep. Usually you just Velcro yourself to the wall. When you're in the, on station, you're usually there for three to six months. Right. Uh, and so it's really important to have your own private space. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we can see some, some little pictures over there. What started on a whim when Rubio applied to NASA following a friend's recommendation will soon bring him to space. How are you going to live without pupusas? <laughs> yeah, food, you know, I try to stay in shape, but I love food. I think I'm gonna miss coffee and I'm gonna miss good food. Um, but most of all, I'm gonna miss my family. What would it mean to you to be the first Latino to step foot on the moon and maybe the first man to travel to Mars? It's going to be an honor either way. And I hope to do my best to represent you know, the NASA team, uh, to represent my family, El Salvador, uh, Hispanics. You know, all of that contributes to who I am. Mm -hmm. And I realize I wouldn't be here without any of that. Frank Rubio could soon fulfill his dream of traveling to space. He is awaiting mission assignments. In the meantime, NASA recently announced the next astronaut training program that begins later this year. The application process starts on March 2nd at usajobs.gov.